What is going on everybody? How you doing? I am your humble guide, Stagtastic, and on behalf of the entire Bear River Hunt Club, we want to welcome you in today and thank you for being here. Today we're going to be discussing the all too infamous 308 caliber rifle in Way of the Hunter, or the Steyr Monoblock. In a recent poll that I created on the channel, I was actually really surprised that so many hunters preferred the 308 over all of the other tier 5 rifles, because if you take a step back and look at all the data, at least in my book, the 308 is not the highest performing caliber in the game. And in fact, some people might actually say that, is, that it is completely obsolete. The poll showed that the 308 was beating out all of the other calibers, bringing in a whopping 38% of the overall vote. And my question is why? I mean, what if I showed you that the 308 is not the hardest hitting caliber for tier 5 rifles in Way of the Hunter? Would that actually surprise you? And in fact, what if I told you that there are at least two other calibers that can outperform the 308 in most cases? Now, in order to elaborate on this topic further, we have to do something that, when I say it, will make a whole lot of sense. We have to remember that this is in fact a video game, and although the developers did an absolutely beautiful job, a fantastic job of making sure that everything was as close to real life as possible and making the ballistics as real as possible, it is still a game at the end of the day. So keep that in mind. When it comes to comparing calibers, you can go online and watch a hundred different videos comparing the 308 to a lot of other calibers, and you're just going to be left with more questions than answers along with a hundred different opinions on which caliber is better. So what I don't want to do is go on and on and on about the history about the calibers, I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes and run down every little difference between all of them, and then at the end of the video say, you know, well it's really hard to actually differentiate them and then kind of leave you to make your own choices. You just have to realize that all of the rifles available to you in the game as of the 1.22 update are fantastic weapons and that they all serve the same purpose which is to hunt. So you're going to have to pick a weapon based on whatever scenario you suspect you're going to find yourself in. For an extreme example, I probably wouldn't use a 308 on a squirrel. Why? Because it is way too powerful, it is overkill. You do not need that much power for a squirrel. And in the same way, we all know it, that Way of the Hunter encourages you to use the rifles at your disposal for the right kind of animal, even though we all know, yes, you can absolutely kill almost any animal in the game with any weapon if you're close enough or if you happen to get the perfect shot at a longer distance. So as long as we understand that this is a game, we can move forward with this conversation. So I ask you again, why is the 308 so popular? And I think that there are two main factors. The first reason is that I would assume that many who's, who use the 308 more often than any other caliber in Way of the Hunter is because you are a real life hunter who owns a 308 and absolutely loves that caliber. And that is 100% totally fine. The 308 is a very versatile and very very popular weapon and to be honest ammo is extremely easy to come by for the 308 so the fact is that we all prefer our favorite calibers and rifles to hunt with especially if we have good memories associated with that rifle it has sentimental value to you you love the 308 you own a 308 and so when you come to this game you choose the 308 to hunt with and so I do think that that is one of the main reasons why people choose the 308, and that's fine. The second reason is actually from a more gaming standpoint that makes a lot more sense in my book. The Steyr rifles are actually a lot more accurate in-game than the Remington rifles. So what do I mean by this exactly? Well, it's very simple. When you aim down your scope and you activate Hunter Sense, you're going to see your center reticle and then you're also going to see a little orange circle in addition to your center reticle. This circle is defaulted orange but you can actually change your color in the menus. This little orange circle is called your bullet impact indicator and the larger your bullet impact indicator, the less accurate your rifle is. So basically the game is saying that your bullet could land anywhere inside of that orange bullet impact indicator. So it just so happens that the Steyr rifles have a much smaller impact indicator than the Remington's. Meaning that the Steyr rifles are much more accurate overall. 
So I believe that many people choose the 308 because it is the largest of the Steyr Tier 5 rifles and they just don't want to use the less accurate Remingtons. I don't really agree with that reasoning as much as I do the first reasoning, but it is what it is. So the 308 has personal value to you and it is overall more accurate than the Remingtons. If you find yourself in one of these two categories of people, then let me encourage you to stick around for just a few more minutes and have an open mind because I am going to be showing you two calibers that can actually outperform the 308. Specifically, I'm talking about the Steyr Pro Hunter or the 243 Winchester and the Remington 7600 or the 270 Winchester. Several months ago, I made a video where I laid out all of the differences in hit energy for all of the rifles in the game up to this point. I'll leave the link of that video in the description below for your use. But just as a reminder, I do want to say that those distances are only approximations and will vary depending on whether you're shooting uphill or downhill. By the way, I do plan on making an updated video when we get some new weapons in, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. But for those of you who have not seen it, let me go ahead and just show you real quickly what I mean when I say that there are a few rifles that can outperform the 308. For starters, and for anyone who is not using the Remingtons because they're less accurate, well, let me introduce you to the Steyr Pro Hunter, or the 243. At just 100 meters, you can see that we are getting a consistent hit energy of approximately 2,850 joules of energy. Now, I'll be the first to admit that this alone is not very impressive when you put it up against the 308 at 100 meters. The 308 has approximately 3,371 joules of energy at 100 meters, and in all fairness, that is a 556 uh, difference in the hit energy favoring the 308. Now, I can already hear many of you saying, well, yeah, see, the 308 is actually better. Well, hold your horses there because I'm about to show you why you're wrong. But first, let me go ahead and introduce you to the Remington 7600 or the 270 Winchester. The 270 is an impressive in its own right at 100 meters, registering an impressive 3,558 joules of hit energy. So even at 100 meters, the 308 is not the most powerful rifle out there. But that's not really the point, is it? Because we all know that the 30-06 is actually the most powerful tier 5 rifle in the game so far. So why are we not talking about the 30-06? Well, it's very simple. The fact is the 30-06, from the game's ethical standpoint, is far too powerful for several animals. Those being the Sitka deer, the gray wolf, the mountain goat, the mouflon, the fallow deer, and the chamois registering 3,667 joules of energy at just 100 meters. So it is way too much gun at close distances for the majority of tier 5 animals for it to count as a true ethical hunt. So that's why we're not comparing the 30-06. But even so, remember when y'all thought that the 308 was better than the 243 a second ago? Here's why you're wrong. Even if we did compare the 308 to just the 243, the 243 would actually still win outright because it has enough hit energy to take down every tier 5 animal within 100 meters except for the Sitka deer. Whereas the 308 can kill all of the tier 5 animals except for the Sitka deer and the gray wolf within 100 meters. So it may not be a crazy victory, but on paper, the 243 beats out the 308 from a utilitarian standpoint. But what happens though when you go out to a further distance? And the answer is that the 308 gets even worse. In fact, it loses its velocity so much quicker than the majority of the other tier five rifles. You can see that at just 150 meters, the 308 loses 92 joules of energy. And according to the in-game ballistics, actually drops approximately one inch at 150 meters. Whereas compared to 270, it loses only 53 joules of energy and does not have any bullet drop at all. It maintains its trajectory and shoots extremely flat. Subsequently, the 243 actually loses the most amount of energy at 150 meters with a 132 joule loss. But that is still okay. Let me tell you why. Because the 243 does not have any 
drop at all. It is still shooting so much straighter than the 308, shooting so much flatter, and it is by far so much more consistent than the 308 at 150 meters. But things continue to get worse for the 308 as you go even further out. In fact, things start to get really bad for the 308 at just 200 meters. For example, at 200 meters, the 308 loses a total of 181 joules of energy from its original point of 100 meters, and according to the ballistics, has an approximate drop of anywhere between 3 to 4 inches respectfully. Now you compare that to the 243 at 200 meters. The 243 has lost a whopping 268 total joules of energy, and yet it is still shooting incredibly straight with virtually no drop at all. And the same can be said for the 270 with virtually no drop at all as well, uh, with only a 105 total joules of energy lost. And we could go on and on to different distances, but I hope by now you can actually see my point. For more of this information, I would encourage you to go back and check out my cheat sheet video like I had recommended. Again, the link is in the description below. So even though the 308 is the largest of the three calibers that we're comparing today, and even though many hunters like to use it, the overall performance of the 308, in my humble opinion, does not match up to the 243 or the 270. Even the 243 with the 268 total drop in energy from 100 to 200 meters is still capable of taking down every single tier 5 animal and it is still going to be shooting a lot straighter than the 308. In addition, the 270 is the most consistent caliber in the game as far as tier 5 rifles go and shoots the straightest while maintaining the most amount of energy. So to wrap things up, yes. This is a video game, and yes, you can kill virtually any animal in the game with virtually any weapon if you really wanted to. But at the end of the day, the 308 just does not compare. Between these three rifles, I think the obvious winner is the 270 coming in first place, and then the 243 coming in in second place. In third place, I have to put the 308. Do you agree with this list, yes or no? Let me know why you enjoy using the 308 over these other calibers and why you think it actually outperforms then. Leave your answers in the comments below and let's go ahead and get that conversation started. Guys, with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to like the video if you haven't already, and of course, subscribe to the Bear River Hunt Club for more videos like this. It does not cost you a thing, but it means a whole lot to me. Currently trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers, and we are almost halfway there. Y'all, as always, I am your humble guide, Stacktastic. I hope to see you back here real soon. Happy hunting, and take care.